Hi friends, today we will be discussing on a very important topic like it will help all those in this corona period, those who have lost job, those who are fracers. So with that note, today's topic will be interview etiquettes. What are the basic interview etiquettes? Actually, why I selected such kind of topic, you know, this is a period nowadays which phase is going is actually very boring. Numbers of people have lost their job, numbers of fresers are upcoming, those who have not got any job, any fresher job they have not got. For that purpose only, I have thought to bring a basic interview etiquettes, you can say topic in which I can enlighten those points where a student or a fresher or a person can come forward and represent what actually he is. So for that, I will be giving you three basic points over which we will be discussing. First one means you should look smart. Yes. Next one is you should behave smart. You should behave smart. Third one is you should speak smart. So speak, look, behave. So first one is out of it is looking. Your looking matters the most. Like it matters 40%, it matters 20% and it matters 40%. All total it will be 100%. So you can say looking is very important because as you look so the respect will be. So in return the respect will be. Your looking should be absolutely good enough to attract the interviewer who is interviewing you to at least talk to you with dignity it it will improve your dignity for that purpose looking your basic looking should be like you can get ready with a black formal neatly pressed neatly praised well praised and second one is white shirt white shirt neatly praised that condition is very important it is actually a kind of black and white combination you should be it brings a kind of soothing or a kind of candidate kind of feeling will be coming you when you go to face an interview in that time it will rather light color will be there white color will be there means it will relax your mind it will bring peace to your mind and it looks good as well third one will be you should have a black formal polished suit black formal polished well polished if possible, if possible, wear a tie. Preferably red color or any deep color tie you wear. These are the basic requirement for attending an interview and in which you should, these things will enhance your looking and you will look smart, rather more smarter. Actually, with the dress, you will look smart. With your speak, with your speech, you will become smarter. And with your behavior, it will add feathers to your crown. With your behavior, you can win the hearts. That's what is the basic for now. Behave. Whenever you enter inside the room, there are basic etiquettes. Like, may I enter? 
good morning greetings all these kind of greetings you should do then whenever asked then only sit over the chair whatever has been given whenever asked until then stand like a disciplined person and don't utter a sound don't panic don't think what the interview will ask you what the interviewer will ask you if you start thinking then all these kinds of you can say words and thoughts will change your mind which will bring some kind of nervousness to your heart as a result what kind of person you may be how rich your knowledge may be you will be unable to spell out you will be unable to explain what and what is the purpose of going there you will be unable to explain your heart out that is very important so never think what the interview will interviewer will ask you should be least nervous because thinking about that process makes the candidate nervous so as far as possible relax your mind whatever you like at that time you can do or what kind of topic you want to spell out you want to you want the speaker to ask you you want the interviewer to ask you you bring that to his notice like i mean to say when you speak you should be first you should be very much clear in your language which language you follow preferably english is the most important language to click to excel to come out with flying colors out of it out of an interview room for that purpose if possible get ready make your english very strong rather i would say you should practice it daily at least for half an hour so that in a month time you will be absolutely interview ready for that purpose i can say you you listen listen english um you can say news you can listen you can watch and make some kind of vocabulary addition to your vocabulary things and you can write the words you can learn while speaking you can use those words it will be a kind of help okay so speak smartly for that purpose you get ready with your spoken english kind of thing you should be ready to speak in english if you are not ready for english not no need to be panicked before the interview you go with the language you are comfortable but you should be clear what you want to say you should be able to explain the interview that is very important next thing here when the question will be asked to you introduce yourself yes introduce yourself what you will say you will simply say your name because you have given a cv to them curriculum vitae out of which with, with that piece of paper they know basic things about you like your education percentage and all those things they will not ask questions regarding that and they are not concerned about what they will what why uh, you will say again those things they are not concerned for that purpose i will say simply tell your name and go to your straight away go to your area of interest area of interest or you can say specialization whatever you understand what will happen the table you have prepared the interviewer will be ready 
to ask you questions on these topics only on your area of interest so this i would request everybody those who are getting ready for an interview all the candidates it may be student friends or anyone to think about your area of interest the kind of company you are going to attend the interview you take some basic knowledge about that company learn something about that company learn something about that company visit its website where like some if you are interested in that company you should be knowing where the company works like how many job locations are there what kind of what kind of you can say the company what kind of things they are dealing with sales marketing or production and all those kinds what they are producing you need to know these are the basic requirements so with this i feel like i must have added some values to this session thank you for watching and stay tuned